Okay, so this is future me, like mid-July me, cause, because Stony Clover actually reached out to everyone that purchased the bag you're about to see and sent an email that they were going to send us all a longer strap that the strap measurements were not accurate or something and so th the straps got sent at the end of june i got mine in the beginning of july which is why i held this video for so long to now upload it so i'm gonna let you see what it looks like and all the unboxing and what it looks like on my body with the strap and then after you see all that you'll see the next clip which i'm filming right now with what the bag looks like now with the new strap all right thanks for waiting so long to watch this video and here it goes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am dressed for the occasion of unboxing my purchase from Stony Clover Lane for the Toy Story collection. So this collection was really fun. It had a lot of new silhouettes and I saw one that I really wanted. Okay, let's be real, I saw a couple things that I really wanted, but I was trying to contain myself because I feel like the collections are coming out right one after another so I don't know I have to really like think about items like am I going to use it will it be um one that will go really well into my rotation can I picture myself like outfits wearing it because I don't want to get stuff that I'm not going to use there are things I'm like oh my gosh it is so cute but then I'm like ah oh, I don't know I'd rather have this so I really do like think about it a lot when they do the plan your buy I really think about what I want and what I want to get and to be honest, there's still stuff from the Mickey collection that I still want. So I'm also trying to like get those gradually as well. So, and also storage wise, like, I mean, you, I have my office here, which I film in, but I have my closet. Um, and I just, I don't want too much cause then I don't have anywhere to store it effectively. And that would not be fun either. So anywho, with that long spiel, <laughs> this is what I got from the Toy Story collection from Sony Clover Lane. It arrived this morning and I have loving the tape so it is a toy story tape the little pr boxes that went out were so cute with all of the um the how it like says andy's toys but it had like their name on it that was so cute i love that so much those pr packages the what they do like the creativity behind them is really really cute so i do love seeing those when they share them on instagram those are fun to watch i am really excited to see the one item I purchased because I did get a new silhouette. If you got anything from this collection, definitely let me know down below what you got because I love checking out other people's things too. Alrighty, so I just opened up the tape and right on top we have our new folder which is Toy Story themed. I am wearing my Toy Story dress from, this is from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. It has like all the little characters on. This is like the only Toy Story item I have. I actually don't have like a Toy Story purse. I do have the Buzz Lightyear backpack from Harvey's, but I don't consider it like Toy Story because it looks very like space. So I do wear that one when I wear like space or galaxy print things. So I wanted something to go with this dress specifically. So here is the little folder. We have Woody and Slinky Dog, which I finally rode this past summer. It is such a fun ride. And then inside I have a postcard that has all of the characters. It's, I wonder if everyone's getting the same postcard. I haven't seen any unboxings yet of Toy Story, so I have to check that out. But I like in the Mickey collection, everyone had different postcards. I wonder if they're different. This one's really cute though. It's definitely gonna go on my bulletin board. We have all the characters. There's the back. And then my sticker is like my favorite Toy Story quote. It says to infinity and beyond. Stony Clover Lane. And then we have Buzz Lightyear there. That is really cute. Now, my receipt is in here, and I do want to share something that happened whenever I made my purchase. So, I am a teacher. Um, I don't know if you've know if you've seen any other videos where I mentioned I'm a teacher. So, I do get the teacher discount through ID and Me for certain websites, and Stony Clover Lane. Thank them so much. Does do the Stony Clover Lane does do the ID and Me teacher discount, and it is ten percent, but. In my experience, it doesn't work on anything that is new. Like it only works on past collections or stuff that's always like core collection that's always in stock. It is a 10% discount. And um, I had something in my cart when this collection, you know how they shut down the site and so it's like closed for a minute. When it opens back up, your stuff is still there. So I was trying to hurry and I had stuff in my, uh, my cart still where the teacher uh, discount was applying to those items. 
when I added the Toy Story collection item, it also applied to that item. And I even told my husband, that's so weird. Like usually the teacher discount doesn't apply to the new collection. I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe they're doing it because like teacher appreciation is like coming up or something like that. Because that is like next week. It's current. Today is May 6th. So I thought maybe that's why they did that. I don't know. I was just trying to hurry up. So I purchased one item that was already in my cart that I wanted that was in there. And then I purchased the one item from the Toy Story collection. Both of them, I got the 10% discount on both items as a teacher. This ID and me is what they use. And it is not just for teachers. It is military, nurses, teachers, veterans. It's still military. I'm not sure exactly, but it's a list of people of occupations that you may have that you can qualify. So definitely look into that because you might qualify and it'll give you some discount. And ID and me is a secure website to use. Um, I think the man who created it was military himself. And I use ID and me for a lot of things, not just Sony Clover Lane, but I use ID and me for like SeaWorld too, because we get a teacher pass. It's through ID and me. I mean, I can't, I can't name them all right now, but there, it is a secure website to use and you just, they will uh, verify that you are an educator or whatever it is that you put as your occupation. But what I'm telling you right now is because later on I went on there again and I was like looking at another item and then the discount was not being applied to that particular item. So I don't know if when the collection launched, they had it open and then it turned off. I don't know. So I was like, oh no, like, was it not supposed to apply to it? But it did. So then I thought maybe they were going to like charge me like the 10% of the one item, but they didn't. So I do thank them for letting me have it still for 10% with my teacher and me discount teacher and me. I keep saying that. Is it teacher and me? I don't know. It's a, it's ID and me, but it's the teacher discount. So I do appreciate that. I still was able to check out successfully and they didn't back charge me because I thought that's what they were going to do. And I was like, well, it's okay if they do. I mean, like I was already aware that it normally doesn't apply to new releases because I've tried before and it didn't apply. So when I do use it, I use it on like past things that I want and I'll get them later. With that long story, now let me show you what I got from the collection that just launched. And it's all wrapped up so pretty. I love this cellophane and these pouches. I try to reuse them if I can. This is so cute. Alrighty, let's see. So I got finally the camera bag. It is so cute. It is the Stony Clover, Stony Clover Lane Toy Story camera bag purse that has the little cloud print all over it. And that really beautiful it's embroidery. I think it's embroidery. Yeah, embroidery patch that already comes on it. I did see people that were putting patches on it and I really want to do that, but I just got it like this. I really thought it would look so cute with this outfit. It's kind of what I'm visualizing here. So let's open it up and I will show you all of the details. Okay, so I took it out of the plastic and you can see all of the clouds as well as the Disney Pixar Toy Story. I was really surprised that there wasn't like Stony Clover like laying here somewhere in the front, but it is in the back in the gold um, raised. I think you can see it. It's raised. So it's not like embossed or anything. It's like raised on there. Um, Stony Clover. And then it just has Stony Clover and then the little L in like that for Lane. It's really cute. This is about the size of a pouch, but it has the brings most like because it's a camera bag purse. I really usually like camera bag size purses or like some of my favorite sizes to use. We have the Stony Clover Lane tag there with the Pixar ball. If you can see that Pixar ball right there. All the plastic is on there. And then here are the D-rings on the sides. They're all saran wrap. I guess it's saran wrap on. I got to take all that off to put it on. Um, I do like the little tag though. This blue is so pretty. This is like one of my favorite colors. I tend to buy a lot of things this color and core collection. It's like periwinkle. I love periwinkle. That is what my wallet is in. My little keychain wallet um, is in periwinkle. This item came stuffed. So I don't know if I probably will keep it stuffed. I tend to keep most of my things kind of semi stuffed, but just to keep structure on certain bags, this one I probably will. So I do appreciate the stuffing because I will probably use it. Um, the inside is so pretty. I don't think I ever saw pictures of the inside. So the inside has the Pixar Sony Clover Link tag, and then it has like stars, and then it even says Andy right there. Can you see? It says Andy. Let me see the other side. 
Look, that's so cute. I really didn't even see, I don't think I saw that anywhere. And then we have the strap, which is also like a periwinkle color. I want to like show it like on me. So I'm going to take all this stuff apart and I will put it on me. Okay, so I did unwrap all of the items and well, the little saran wrap parts and I put the strap on it. I don't know if I like looked at the dimensions of the length of the strap. I don't remember. I remember seeing like them try it on in pictures and stuff. I know it's a camera bag, but I don't know if it's like size inclusive because it looks kind of short. So this is what it looks like. I, op I did pull it all the way as much as it would go. So I can't really get it to go the rest of the way there. But that's as much as I could get it to go. And so it looks like this, right? Obviously. So I don't know if it's supposed to be just worn on like one shoulder like that, which is really cute. I don't know if it's supposed to be crossbody, but I mean, as you can see, I don't want to get like makeup all over the strap because that can happen. It is not going to go crossbody on me. So I don't know if it's supposed to be crossbody. I don't remember. I mean, of course, like on other people, it would fit crossbody, but on me, it won't. So like, it's not like, there you go. That's what it looks like crossbody. Not very like comfortable and not very, <laughs> it looks like, I mean, I guess I could wear like a fanny pack kind of, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I'm so confused. Why did I think this was a longer strap? But I mean, I could potentially wear it like a fanny pack like that. I would just have to make it smaller wherever the thing is here. So then I would just decrease, but I mean, I don't know. So it would work as a fanny pack like that. That's an idea, but it does not fit crossbody on me and on my body. So I don't know. You tell me, was it longer? I'm like, I have to go back and look, but that's what the length looks like. I mean, I don't know the actual dimensions. I'm sure it's on the website. I will link it down below, but I could have sworn it was a little bit longer. Like it looked really long. I'm going to have to look and measure it because I'm really curious. So I guess it's meant to be worn just like on the side. That it is a side bag, but there you go. That is the Toy Story camera bag. And I really wanted to get the pink camera bag. The one, I don't know, it's not, I know the color is not named pink. Sunset Chaser, I think, from the summer collection, because it was really pretty, but if it's going to be this short on me, probably not. So, because that's not a very size inclusive strap for me in my chest. So, I can't use that. So, alrighty, that is the Stony Clover Lane camera bag. Let me show you the other item I purchased. I like getting free shipping. And Stony Clover Lane has a very high threshold for free shipping. It is $250. So yeah, that's like a lot of things. And not a lot of things really, but it's like you have to buy another big thing usually if you want to reach that. So I went ahead and got something I have been wanting from, like I said, the older collection. So I got the jumbo fanny pack to go with my major league mini one. This one is the Mickey Mouse one. I don't know what the name of it was called. It just says one size Disney. It doesn't say the actual name anymore, but this collection came out a couple months ago, I guess at this point. Um, I did haul what I got, so definitely go check out that video if you haven't. So this was not part of the new launch. This was from the older one, but like I said, I'm really obsessed with this blue and I use my periwinkle one a lot. So these are a little bit different kinds of blue, but I really like blue it's a pretty color so I gradually want to get all of them the jumbo fanny packs the next one I want is Donald Donald is the yellow one and that's the one with he's at sea and I just love the way that one looks and I imagine that would look so cute like on a cruise ship so I really want that one next but I know the daisy one is sold out so that one will never happen that one's a purple one that one's so pretty I mean I can't say never it could be restocked or I could find it somewhere else but I won't get that one but I have this one now and I have the mini one so next will be Donald, and after that, maybe Pluto and Goofy if they're all in stock still. But this is the inside. They're definitely on my wish list, so if there's a coupon code one day, I'll like maybe snag another one. So I did get this one with a 10% teacher discount as well. We have Mickey Mouse on there. This one's just so cute. I really love this print. I didn't get anything in any other print other than Major League Mini, right? Yeah, I think I just got the Major League Mini stuff. But this one, I'm going to take off the paper. This one does have more of a 
size inclusive strap because I usually wear these crossbody. But yeah, there you go. If I could take this strap and put it on that bag, I probably would because then it would be further like down here. I'm really shocked that it's so short. It's making me very sad. I didn't realize it was that short. But maybe that's on me too and I didn't notice it and I didn't measure it and that's on me. I should have done that. But I just assumed that it would go crossbody. I could still wear it on the side though. I mean, that doesn't bother me. But it is... I like bags crossbody. I think even if I lose weight, like I don't think it's going to make a difference like in this area. So I don't know. And you enough of that but yeah this is the other one I got so these are the two items I purchased from Stony Clover Lane that I'm adding to my collection I really love this one though this is really cute I love both of them don't get me wrong I really do love the clouds I'm just a little sad that it's so short but actually I could get another strap so straps are like usually you can find straps that match so if I already get like a white strap that would be really pretty too like a longer strap that's an idea so these are the two bags I got. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got anything, let me know down below. And I do appreciate you coming here and watching and listening to me talk. <laughs> Thanks again for all your support. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Okay, so that person that you saw me who got that bag, I was totally content with keeping it with the shorter strap. It did look funny on me. And I mean, I knew it looked funny on me because it came up to like right here. But as of today, I got the new strap. So this is the older strap. And you can see the difference is, wow. Like they added so many more inches to it. I don't really know what happened or if people complained or what, but they look identical. Like there's nothing about them that's different. They look identical. This is the old one. This is the new one. And then you can see where the old one starts already going to like, I'll turn around. But now they're on the wrong side. Hello, Crystal. Okay, there we go. So now you can see where the old one is already starting to buckle. And then the new one's here. And then look at this. There's the old one. Look at the new one. Look at the new one. It's still going. So the new one is incredibly long. Incredibly long. And I'm so glad that they did that. I don't know if people complained about it or if the measurements were really off. I didn't go measure it. I never even contacted them about it. I was just going to be like, whatever. It's going to be a little short on me and I'm going to keep it. But now here's the purse and I'm putting the new strap on it. And like I said, it's so much longer. And now... I haven't even used it. It's mid-July. I have not even used it once. Why? Because it was a little short. And then I saw the email. The email came about a week after. No joke. The email came pretty quickly. So now there's a new strap. And look how long it looks on me. I'm not wearing the other dress I was wearing in that video. But you can get the idea. And I probably should shorten it so it doesn't look incredibly like all the way down to my knees. But I wanted to show you like how much longer it is. So now it's so much more size inclusive and I'm happy about it. So there you go. This is the bag with the new strap. I love it. I'm so glad that they did that. As a company, I appreciate Stony Cloverlane for doing that. I appreciate that they reached out to all of us consumers and were like, hey, you know, the strap's really short. Let's get you a new one. So now I have a strap for my Toy Story bag, camera bag. I don't know if you have both of them, like this one and the Hawaiian collection one, the pink one, because I really did want to get that one, but after like I didn't get it and then I saw this one and I had to get it because of the Toy Story look. I wonder if the strap situation was the same. I don't know. I mean, if you know, let me know down below. But now you'll see that I have a longer strap. I don't think I'll ever use a shorter strap. I mean, it was really short. You saw the video before this, so I don't know. But that is the bag with the newer strap. Again, I'm really grateful that Sony Clover did that. I think that's awesome that they did that, and I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching this video. I know it came out, like, super late. Like, I, when I got the email, I was like, I'm just going to hold it and put it all together as one video. It made more sense in my head. So now you're getting to see it with the old strap and the new strap. And I didn't have to do, like, two videos to say, hey, guys, I got a new strap. This is what it looks like on me. So it's all one cohesive video. But thanks again. Have a good one. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.